There's a beautiful symphony that happens from front of house to back of the house. The harmony itself is the food and how it's coming to you. Everything comes in an order where it'll all make sense. So for us, we let the food speak for itself. Republica operates in the spirit of camaraderie and collective thinking. It pulses morning till night, breakfast to tasting menus, mixing traditional ideas and modern notions. Say hello to our restaurant of the year. What we're doing is not necessarily reinventing or creating a new concept. We're, we're simply taking the components that have existed forever and we're finding a different ways to interpret them. So we're gonna go away from you know chips and salsa, guac, margaritas, all that stuff. Not because we don't like those things, but simply because it's just not a place for it in our restaurant. There's a reason why we don't call our food Mexican, because it really isn't. You know, a lot of those components, a lot of the ingredients that went into it didn't belong in this side of the Americas. Every course presented with a story and a backstory and a narrative, wine pairings that are really focused on winemakers in Mexico or BIPOC winemakers from the Willamette Valley. We led the program and the stories and everything to the point of where um, it disarmed people because people were not coming in here thinking we're going to the fine dining uh, establishment of Republica or you know we're having an elevated Mexican meal because it's none of those things. But if you go down there anytime in the evening they will go down almost like an encyclopedia and tell you where these ingredients came from, uh, the background story to it, things that you would normally not pick up in most restaurants. The level of ambition and the thoughtfulness, the visual drama of the plates, everyone different. That is a restaurant of the year, a place that is changing a conversation and can influence and inspire others to also reach.